Hi and welcome to this week's Oracle message for week of the 24th of January with me Ruth Ann Richards. In this video I share an Oracle message for the week that helps us stay connected to, the, to our intuition. It's a message from the universe that's something it wants us to know about this week. So I'm using the Oracle deck Sacred Destiny this week. Um, there is something about the start of a new year, isn't there? And we, many of us feel kind of like there's a new energy around that and a new start. And things are shifting this year. And if you're a, if you're a female or you're in touch with that more female-sided energy, um, you will start to feel this shift or you've already started to feel the shift. Changes are coming about equality in the world, about what's going on in the world. And we're part of that. So if you started to feel something shift, welcome, you are in the right place. And this week's message completely helps us with this. Blessings. So we have this beautiful yellow bird in this beautiful waterfall area with these beautiful flowers. flowers. And when you look at that image, what, what comes to you? Do you feel some sense of serenity? Do you feel some sense of peace? And when you say the word blessings, what do you think about? What blessings do you have in your life right now that you can be grateful for? Because when we're going through transformation and change and when we feel there's a shift going on around us, but we're not quite sure it's how it's happening, it can feel quite unnerving. And we're reminded that we've got so much to be grateful for. And when you're working through a shift and working through transformation, being grateful for that transformation helps shift the vibration and frequency so you can contribute, it, contribute to it in a more positive way. So what do you have to be grateful for? The roof, it may be bricks and mortar, the roof over your head. It may be material things that are helping you in your life at the moment. It may be the people in your life. It may be how you feel. It may be your work. It could be anything. So just take a moment now with a deep breath, <clears throat> excuse me, and just think about what are all the things that you have in your life that you're grateful for? What are the blessings that you have? And that's the great thing to do as well, because gratitude raises the vibration, the frequency that you're emitting so that universe can respond back to you with the same frequency. And that's when that energy is created. Um, but also it brings you back to the present. And when the shift's going on and there's a change happening around us and we can kind of sense it and feel it, but we're not sure what it is, it causes some level of nervous anxiety. And we start to think too far ahead or we start to think about what's happened in the past. And actually, when a shift, a big shift is occurring, stay present, stay in the present time. That is all you can do. The universe is taking care of the external conditions. All you can do is focus on your part of the puzzle. Be yourself, be your true self. Do the things that are right for you. Do the things that are right for the environment and the people around you. Stay present and think about your blessings. There's another message that comes with this as well, that the universe is sending signs to you of what to look out for. So if you've been asking the universe to create something or you're trying to manifest something, and if you watch me regularly, you know that I don't use the word manifest and I use the word co-creating. So every time you hear me say co-creating, I'm talking about manifesting, okay? Because we co-create with the universe. The universe doesn't just give us things. We have to take steps and actions towards that to show that we're serious in what we want. But the universe is bringing some signs to you right now that, it is, that the universe is supporting you and helping you to co-create the things that you want. So in my family, a big sign is a butterfly. It could be an image of a butterfly, it could be the real thing, it could be a painting, it could be the word, but butterflies are a big sign. When I see a butterfly, I know that's a message for me to pay attention to. So think about what signs um, support you or if there's something in your life may, might be a flower or a, a particular animal and if you don't have a sign choose something and ask the universe to show that to you to help you know what actions to take and to find out what your sign is it may be words it may be song lyrics sometimes you can be thinking of a situation or an action that you want to take you may be in the car you put the radio on you put a playlist on and you hear the lyrics of a song that have meaning for you. It's time to pay attention to those things this week. So there we have it. How to stay connected to your intuition this week. Blessings. Count your blessings. Make a list of all the things that you're grateful for. Feel that gratefulness and that vibration and frequency and look out for a sign that's meaningful for you. And if you're feeling nervous about the shift that's coming, just remember, come back to feeling gratitude and blessings. 
stay in the present and get centered. Wishing you a wonderful week, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.